Hi guys and welcome in this new video. In this video, I will explain you how to find the best technical indicator for your intraday trading strategies. And as always, this video is sponsored by the AlphaQuant program, a quant trading club that combines e-learning videos, 7 day of a 7 support and real life monthly project. And this video is related to the current monthly project, which is to find the best features to create trading strategies. First of all, I just want to make a quick recap about what is a technical indicator. Here, it's pretty simple to understand. I have used an SMA, simple moving average, and an RSI to show you what is a technical indicator in my opinion. You can find a lot of different definition, but for me, the most important is that you can take mathematical process, you can take the easiest process just count, for example, the number of red candle or green candle and so on. The most important thing is that you should be able to have one data per candle and to plot it. For example, for the moving average there, you will take the 20 last period, the 20 last candle, okay, 20 last close prices, and you will do an average, for example, for this one. Then you go forward, you take again the 20 last you do the average. Then you go forward, you take the 20 last and you do the average. And going forward doing that, you will have this line. One value for each candle. And it's quite easy to create some technical indicators using Python, okay? Here, I gave you an example using the TA library, technical analysis library, and it's quite easy. Here, in 20 line of code, I have created a Bollinger Bond indicator, okay? You can take a look to the code, it's very, very easy. All this code there is just to create a false data frame containing realistic prices, okay? And to create my Bollinger Bonds, I have just used this code. So in reality, it's more about five line of codes. Then I have that. And if I want, I can plot always the close price with my Bollinger Bonds to have a better visualization about what I am doing. Okay, so if you want to create basic technical indicators, the TA library will be very enough. But it's not something that I recommend you to do. Okay, I will detain my point in a few minutes. Now, I want to insist on the point that technical indicators are not optimal anymore. That's true. 20 years ago, it was perfect. If you used SMA, RSI, you, you would be billionaire. But as many people have used it, the edge has disappeared, okay? So it doesn't mean that technical indicator is dead. It means that basic technical indicator is dead, really, okay? And for example, following the trend using SMA only or the basic rules for the RSI, I will buy a stock at the RSI 30, I will sell it at 70, so that's dead. If you follow this rule, you will lose money for sure because above all, the banks are using this really simple rule to bid against the retail trader, the beginners retail traders, okay? So I really don't recommend you to do that. But I don't recommend you to really stop using technical indicators. What you need to do is to create a tailor-made technical indicator. And that's exactly what we are doing into the current monthly project of the AlphaQuant program. We are creating several indicators based on statistical test, imbalance of the market, and many, many other things. So to make it simple, we said in the previous section that the technical indicator are too much used, okay? For example, once we have begun quant trading, the first thing that we have done is a crossing between moving averages. I mean, all people know this strategy, okay? So it means that all the beginners will use it, the real beginners, and the intermediate trader will use it into a small different way and so on. What we need to do, okay, is if we really want to use the basic technical indicators is to find some uncommon setup, okay, I, to use them in a different way than the traditional way, to combine them and so on. But the really thing I'd advise you to do is to create tailor-made technical indicator. And it's not so odd as you think. You just need to do some trial. For example, you can take the number of green candle, red candle, that can be one indicator, okay? Or maybe you can 
just do a mathematical derivative of this price, okay? You can compute the slope here, for example. You can do a lot of things, okay? You just need to think about them, to say, okay, I have read something that it can be good. I have read something into a portfolio management post, I don't know, that you can use the correlation to reduce the risk of the portfolio. I will not use the correlation in the same way. Maybe I will try to do a technical indicator that at each point will compute the correlation, okay? The past correlation between my asset that I'm trying to trade with the market. For example, if it, you're trading the Microsoft stock, the market will be the Nasdaq 100 or the S&P 500, for example, okay? So the first thing to do is to read papers, research paper, blog post, website, a lot of different things. And then you need to, once you have a lot of ideas, think about what can be interesting. For example, here, let's say I want to analyze the trend, okay? And I will be like that, okay? How can I analyze the trend? The trend is a long-term variation. So it means, first of all, I need to remove the noise of my prices. Okay, how can I do that? Fourier transformation, SMA, simple SMA. Um, you can compute the slope. You can do a lot of other things. Once I have that, what rule I will apply to say, okay, I am into a bullish trend, a bearish trend, and so on. So that's this mechanism that I'm using to create some new features. And if you are into the alpha quant, I will detail it a lot into the live session. So all of that to say what? To say that, okay, technical indicators can be good, but it's not like on YouTube. On YouTube, you will see what is this amazing technical indicator, exactly like what I did to make you click on this video, okay? But after that, they will show you a very simple technical indicator, like the SMA is the best thing for cryptocurrency. Just look at this backtest, which is, by the way, overfitted at the maximum, okay? And you will see amazing performances. That is bullshit, really. If you want to know why, okay, the technical reason, just take a look to my playlist, The Scientific Backtesting Guide, and you will understand directly why all the backtests you are seeing on the internet is really bullshit. So to really summarize, technical indicators can be good, okay? But using them alone without any other modification with the traditional rules is not enough now, okay? Because we are not 20 years ago, and now all these rules are very known, we have a lot of retail trader compared to 20 years ago and so on, okay? But you can use these technical indicators, okay, with other rules, or you can directly create your own technical indicators. As I have explained it to you, it's not so hard as you think. First, you need to understand the problem, and then you are looking for some answers, and you will create step-by-step step a new technical indicator. For the first one, it will be very painful. Okay, that's normal. Then the second one, it will be less painful and so on. If you have any question and you are into the AlphaQuant program, you can ask all your questions into the private community where I answer much quicker. So I hope you like this video. If you have any question, feel free to drop it into the comments area.